Mental Health Unit's Use of Force Act 2018 became law on the 31st of March 2022. The Act aims to clearly set out the measures that are needed to prevent the inappropriate use of force and ensure accountability and transparency about the use of force in mental health units. Compliance with the Act is expected to result in an end to the disproportionate use of force on people sharing protective characteristics, particularly race, sex, age and disability. The Act aims to ensure that services will meet the needs of the individual by taking a preventative approach in order to stop situations from reaching crisis point. It will enable services to understand the negative implications of the use of force to patients with histories of trauma and abuse. It also aims to encourage services to involve the individual, families and carers in the planning and delivery of their care and foster a positive relationship between those receiving care and those providing it. Use of force is categorised as including physical restraint, mechanical restraint, chemical restraint and isolation of a patient. Any use of force must be human rights based, person-centred and trauma-informed. Force must be used for no longer than necessary in order to prevent harm to the person or to others. It must be a proportionate response to that harm and be the least restrictive option. All use of force must be compliant with the Human Rights Act 1998.